So, hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to our Future Friday webinar series. My name is Brennan. I'm one of the co-founders at Wholesale. And today we are talking about our new Amazon integration. We're not marketing this uh, very heavily yet, so you probably haven't seen us uh, talk about it over email marketing and stuff like that, but we've made it live for existing customers in wholesale. Whether you're on a trial or you're an existing subscriber, uh, you have access to this Amazon integration. If you sign up today as a new customer, you've got access to this Amazon integration. So I'll be talking about how that works, giving a little demo of the settings that we have for the Amazon integration, how you can configure that to sync with your Amazon listings and import orders and so forth. So with that, let's uh, jump right in. For anybody that's on the call that, that uh, is not familiar with Wholesale or is brand new to the software, uh, I like to give this little overview. So Wholesale is a, a piece of inventory software and now uh, multi-channel e-commerce software that we've developed for specifically for folks in the used electronics industry and maybe even more specifically at the outset for used cell phones. Um, so my co-founder Harry and I have had um, over a decade each of experience in the used phone world and um, as we were in that industry, uh, we, we found that you know it's very hard to use existing inventory software that's that's typically just about SKUs and quantities uh, to track used electronics because you end up with so, such a huge library of SKUs um, that really don't do justice to the various conditions and um, grades and conditions that uh, devices can be in. Uh, and so we started building our own software for this and eventually turned it into Wholesale. And so Wholesale now is, is um, the culmination of, it's been around for, um, for over five years um, with customers using it. Uh, and so it's, it's this uh, kind of fully featured inventory platform that allows you to manage your serialized inventory with things like grades and conditions baked into the SKUs. Um, and now you, know, you have all these things that you kind of expect like IMEI fulfillment, scanning, audits. Um, and now we have e-commerce and business integrations with platforms like eBay, Amazon, Backmarket, Swappa, WooCommerce, and uh, platforms specific to the cell phone industry like PhoneCheck um, for diagnostic testing um, and more and more to come. So you'll see more of these integrations with specific industry related software from us as time goes on. So if you are buying and selling used cell phones or just used electronics in general, Wholesale was made specifically to solve the problems that, that you have. And that's kind of the software in a nutshell. So. Today, though, we are talking about our Amazon integration, or rather I am talking about our Amazon integration. So we've had this integration in development for a while. And if you've used other integrations that we have from Wholesale, uh, this, this one behaves very similarly. It, the look and feel will be very similar to what you've seen from our other integrations. Um, and whereby the, the whole point of this integration is to allow Wholesale, as you're adding inventory, changing inventory, updating the grades, conditions, uh, and so forth of the inventory in your account, Wholesale keeps updating Amazon on a routine basis with the, the latest quantities for all of your available SKUs. Um, and so it's, it's pretty straightforward to set up your account in Wholesale with the correct SKUs in your product catalog, and then you map those SKUs to your Amazon listings, and Wholesale just automatically keeps those listings up to date with, with what you have in your Wholesale account. And so obviously this can save a tremendous amount of time for anyone that's doing manual updating of their e-commerce channels We've already done this with, with many e-commerce channels, like I mentioned, Backmarket, Swappa, eBay, uh, WooCommerce, uh, and so forth. And, and now we're introducing Amazon and we'll be introducing even more in the future. So uh, the same kind of um, workflow of how you connect uh, your, your account is similar, uh, but I'm gonna walk through that uh, just the same. And I maybe didn't mention this at the beginning, but if you have any questions, use the chat bar uh, on the, the right side of this, uh, uh, webinar for to, to enter any questions. I'll read them aloud and answer them as I'm going through. So the, this is our, our integration. It is live now. Our Amazon integration is live in Wholesale. And I'm going to dive into a demo Wholesale account to just kind of walk through the settings that this integration has, talk about what they mean. Uh, and if you've got any questions, feel free to interrupt me as I'm going through. So here we are on a, a demo uh, Wholesale account. We're going to pop over to the integrations dashboard which uh, if you're signed into your wholesale account, you'll now see in that integrations dashboard, Amazon is up here on the top right of that dashboard. And if you click get started, it'll take you to the Amazon integration settings page. Um, I've already connected an account here. So uh, when you do that at the beginning, you choose what Amazon marketplace, what kind of global regional marketplace you are selling on. So I'm selling on amazon.com uh, with my account connection. And then we have all of these settings that 
that's what I'm going to go through. You know, if you're if you're a brand new user to our e-commerce, um, these settings might look a little bit uh, a little bit frightening because you don't know what everything does. I'm going to walk you through those and and talk about what each of these do. So. Uh, in this inventory panel that we see here, we've got settings for how our inventory is going to sync with Amazon, how our quantities of inventory in particular SKUs are going to sync to Amazon once we have our listings connected. So this uh, enable quantity sync just turns on this quantity sync where if you have listings that are connected to wholesale, those wholesale will start telling Amazon, this is the updated quantity for this listing. So what we, we recommend to anyone that's new that's setting up these integrations is to leave this setting turned off until you've walked through all the, the other settings of configuration uh, of the integration. And so configure it so that you know, okay, this is the quantity that's gonna get synced with the listing once I enable this, this quantity sync. Um, and so then you can, we kind of recommend turning this on as a last step as you're setting up the integration. Um, so that's the enabling. Statuses are kind of a unique thing to wholesale compared, I think, to other e-commerce uh, softwares and even inventory softwares where in wholesale, you have the ability to create these, these inventory statuses and you can create them to map the process of how inventory flows through your business. So you're able to create repair statuses for if you're repairing phones, you obviously don't want them to be sold on e-commerce channels. They're in the middle of being repaired. If you've got a receiving and grading process, you certainly don't want phones to be sold out of that status. So when you have inventory in those statuses, you can leave them unselected here in this list of all the statuses in your account. Uh, if you've been using wholesale, you know that you can create and manage these statuses yourself, but this allows you to choose, okay, what, what buckets basically, what statuses of inventory do I want to include in my calculation of how much inventory is available for any listing? And here in my settings, I've only selected available because I only want the inventory that's in available status in my account to contribute to that quantity that we're going to seek uh, with Amazon for, for our listings. Um, warehouses is another set, you know, it's kind of like statuses, but we have multiple things like this in wholesale statuses, warehouses, location, which kind of create virtual buckets uh, of inventory that you can pull from. So warehouses is another one. Uh, warehouses are, are common, um, you know, they either potentially could represent a physical warehouse or they could represent kind of virtual warehouses in your business. You can use them however best fits you. Uh, but here we've just, in our account, we've got two uh, warehouses, primary or ma main and secondary, and we just have both of those selected here. So you'd use that as uh, however it's best fit for you. And then that's the conclusion of the inventory settings. Now we get to the order settings. So order import is going to bring new orders in whenever you have a sale on Amazon, that order is going to come into wholesale so that you can fulfill it with specific IMEIs from your inventory. So you can enable order import here and you can choose the date and time that you want to import Amazon orders from. So if you're getting this all set up and you want to import the last week's worth of orders, you would go to this date selector and you'd choose a week ago and enable the order import and save it. And that'll bring all these orders in um, from the past week. And so it's a, an ability for you, not just to start it on today, but maybe you could start it at the beginning of today's so if you got a few orders so you can get an example of what those orders look like. Just a, just a way to help you in getting this set up and, and figuring out how, how things look. Um, organization type is an important one. With our other integrations, we sometimes allow you to have the customer name. And this is a great uh, time for me to bring up that in our Amazon integration, as of today, we only support the channel name, which is Amazon, for these orders. So the organization that gets created in wholesale for, the, for each of these orders is going to be under the channel name. And the reason for this is we are not able to bring in the customer address and name and information from Amazon. Amazon has very um, you know, strict and careful rules around uh, PII, personal uh, information. And, and so right now, wholesale is not able to get that information in from Amazon, which for most of our customers, I think is going to be just fine because um, most of you are probably using Amazon's shipping tools already to ship because I think Amazon favors customers using those like the prime shipping tools that they have. Uh, you can get better rates and stuff like that. Uh, so for customers that we have, they're using those tools. This is going to be fine. The only reason you want to get the orders into wholesale, which you still do, you want to get them into wholesale so that you can fulfill them with IMEI. So you know which IMEI got shipped on which order. Wholesale is the only place where you are going to know that. Um, and you also want them in wholesale so that if you're selling on other channels as well as Amazon simultaneously, you want that order to come into wholesale to count against 
your available inventory quantity. So if you've got 10 of a particular SKU and someone on Amazon just placed an order for two of them, you want your other channels that you're selling on, Swappa, Backmarket, eBay, if you have a listing for that SKU, you want that to be reduced to eight because it, Amazon knows that you, you got the order on Amazon, that's fine, but you want your other channels to know. And the only way for wholesale to update those channels is to have the order come in. And we don't care what the, you know, the private information of the customer, personal information of the customer, we don't need that to, um, to to update the quantity of the uh, that listing. So your orders are gonna come in, they're just gonna be under the customer name Amazon for the time being. In the future, we may uh, be able to get this information from Amazon for shipping sake, um, and we'll update you if we do. But for the time being, if you've got, if you're shipping through Amazon, that's perfectly fine. If you're shipping through ShipStation, which many of our customers are, we have a ShipStation integration. With our other integrations with other uh, channels, what we typically have you do is bring the order into wholesale and then wholesale sends the order to ship station with amazon this is going to be a little different you're going to you're going to want to have the order in wholesale brought through this integration because it's the fastest way to get the order into wholesale so that we can update your other channels but if you're shipping that order through ShipStation, Amazon and ShipStation have a direct integration that you can keep enabled. Usually we don't recommend this on our other, uh, for our other integrations that you use, but for Amazon, that is what we're going to be recommending because you cannot, we cannot get the customer information to then send to ShipStation. So you want ShipStation to pull that directly from Amazon. You can ship it in ShipStation. ShipStation will tell Amazon that the order has been shipped and that status will update. And then Amazon will actually tell Wholesale that the order has been shipped. So the status of the order, once it gets shipped, whether in ShipStation or on Amazon with this setup, will tell Wholesale that the order has been shipped. So you'd come into Wholesale to fulfill the IMEI, to, to pick the specific IMEI for that Amazon order. And then you'd go either to Amazon or to ShipStation to uh, print the shipping label and ship the order. And then Wholesale will get updated automatically from its connection with Amazon that that order has been shipped. So this is a fully functional integration in the same way that all of our, our others um, have kind of full circle functionality, um, but that is just how you're gonna do it with the Amazon integration for the time being. So that, that was a, a lot, that was a mouthful, but hopefully, you know, this is a recording so you can go back and forth and, and uh, um, track through what I've said. If you have any questions, of course, Mike and I are always available um, via live chat during business hours to answer your questions, to jump on a call with you to help you set up this integration. Um, so we'd be happy to kind of reiterate these, uh, these recommendations at that time. So that's an uh, organization type. Um, and since things are a little bit unique with our Amazon integration compared to our others, I like to spend some time talking about that. The last thing is order statuses. So Amazon has these statuses, pending availability, pending, unshipped, partially shipped, shipped. Each, each e-commerce channel has their own statuses for orders. And what you need to do when you're setting up this integration in wholesale is you need to map the statuses that you have in wholesale. Fortunately, the way I'm sharing this window, you can't see the different statuses I'm choosing from, but here I'm, I'm going through the different statuses of orders that we have in wholesale uh, in this account. Again, order statuses are something that you have control over in your wholesale account. So if you want, you could recreate the exact same status here. You could create a pending availability status, a pending status, an unshipped status. In wholesale, when, when you start an account, we give you a few basic statuses. Um, if you wanted, you could recreate all these ones that Amazon has so that you have orders in that exact status in wholesale so you know, or you could you can even um, map a couple of statuses to the same thing. Pending availability could be set to new, pending could be set to new, unshipped could be set to new, um, partially shipped could be set to, you know, ready to pick or something like that. So you have the, you know, obviously you, you're gonna wanna uh, set shipped to your ship status and wholesale, that's what you know, that's the status where you know your order is complete and you don't have to do anything else to it. Um, canceled, you're probably gonna want in a canceled status. Unfulfillable, maybe you wanna create a status or have that in the canceled status like we have that here. Um, so you have control over, over how these statuses map. Um, and you know, if you're just getting started with Amazon, you're gonna wanna do some reading on their end about what these statuses mean for you operationally, what you have to do when inventories in these, uh, or sorry, when orders come in in these statuses, uh, but then map them in wholesale to the, the statuses um, that you have in your wholesale account and you're ready to go. You can hit save here and it will update that. That is the kind of bulk of these, these uh, settings for your Amazon integration. So once you've got these settings updated, you can hop over to the listings tab 
And all of your listings that you have on Amazon, when you hit this sync listings button, it will bring in your listings from Amazon, the active listings that you have. And I think even the, the inactive listings, you can see I have a lot of incomplete here. And all of these, the, my SKUs that I have in this demo Amazon account, the SKUs do not match what I have in my wholesale account um, in my product catalog. So they have not connected automatically. But what I can do here is I can, if I'm kind of going through and connecting these SKUs, I can put in a SKU into my search bar here and it will very quickly pull up my, uh, my listing with that SKU. I can click on the listing and I can see all the details about the listing. And if I want, I can map this SKU to a different listing, or sorry, excuse me, to a different SKU that I have in wholesale. So maybe in wholesale, my Samsung Galaxy S7 C grade has a, has a totally different SKU than it's set to on Amazon. Well, I can come in here and I can change this SKU. I'm gonna use one, I think we have BM Test SKU 3 uh, is one that we've been using to test. So I'm gonna save this. And this immediately connects to that SKU that I have in wholesale. So this is, I'm just doing this as an example. Obviously this is a different product. It's actually a pretty similar product. It's just an S6 instead of an S7. Um, but I'm just doing it to, to give you an example of how you can connect this listing. So now if we go back to our listings page, we will see that that listing is connected. And the next time that wholesale syncs with Amazon, if I have quantity sync turned on in my Amazon integration settings, it will sync this quantity of 18 over to Amazon. And this is, you know, there's there's a lot of depth here, but this is a good opportunity for me to just show you these tabs here. So this is the current stock level that I have based on the setting of, of this SKU. Um, if you're new to wholesale, you have the ability to connect multiple SKUs. So I could do BM test SKU five here as well, or put in just any different SKU from my catalog. And then both of these SKUs, the quantity of both of them in wholesale would contribute to this specific listing. And that's useful when you're combining different grades. Maybe you're very specific about grades in your wholesale account. You want to combine them for a single listing, um, or you've got like an AT&T item uh, listed and you want to sell, you want to include your unlocked uh, inventory and your AT&T inventory of that product um, to go towards that listing as long as the price is right, right? So, um, so you have the ability to, with, and the flexibility to, to attach multiple SKUs. Here is our stock level that we're looking at now. And I just wanna share that what you can do with this stock level because wholesale is serialized, it is so powerful, um, is you can look at this quantity of 79 and it will pull up a pop-up window with all of the IMEIs. I don't actually have IMEIs for this these items in wholesale, but the IMEIs would appear here in this ESN column. And we can see all the IMEIs that are contributing to this this quantity sync, these 70, 79 IMEIs. And then we can see that we have outstanding orders that make up 61 uh, items that are counting against that quantity of 79. So we can see here, we have three orders for this particular product, and it's in these quantities that make up 61. So we've got some bulk orders that are probably maybe B2B orders here, and then we've got an order for one that's probably more like an e-commerce order. And we can even click over to those orders and see what status they're in and, and so forth. Um, so we can see the quantities that of and where these things are that represent this quantity of 18 that is going to be synced to Amazon the next time we sync, if we have sync, uh, quantity sync turned on. And we probably haven't synced at all with Amazon because I just connected this, this listing a moment ago. But if you come here after um, uh, you know, you've got a decent sync history, you will see a table with the syncs uh, and you'll be able to click, just like I was able to click on these quantities here, you will be able to click on those quantities in your sync history and see what you know? What IMEIs and what orders counted against them for every time this has synced in the history? And remember, it only syncs when the quantity changes. So wholesale is talking to Amazon every five to twenty minutes, but it's only updating the listings when they have had a quantity change, um, as far as wholesale or Amazon is concerned. And so that's when you will see those syncs. But you'll be able to click on the quantities of the sinks just like you can here in the current view and you'll see the IMEIs and the order items that made up the quantity that got synced which I don't believe that's a, a, a potential or a, a feature of any other inventory and e-commerce software out there uh, because wholesale is a serialized system it was designed for insight like this into your inventory and the, the place that this helps sellers the most that we see is when they're trying to diagnose hey we oversold a particular SKU we oversold this SKU on uh, over the weekend we came in on Monday and we had too many sales orders for it we're trying to figure out why we had that many sales orders and why our, our settings were incorrect 
this perspective of, of seeing, okay, these were the IMEIs that went into this sink, that is so helpful for diagnosing why you are overselling, why the settings are incorrect in some instance. And so what we often find here is someone's got a problem where someone in their warehouse added uh, the wrong SKU and they made it available too early. They shouldn't have made it available. They received something back from an RMA and it went into available status and they didn't want that. They wanted to retest it or something else um, so that it physically went through another another pipeline or channel, but it accidentally got added to the inventory. Maybe their order settings uh, for their order statuses are not set up correctly. So the, the kind of ability to look back like a time machine back at these different IMEIs that got synced is really powerful when you're trying to um, overcome the issues that you have in your multi-selling uh, system that you've developed here. And you know this is, this is something that really only wholesale, I believe, can give you uh, that insight uh, into these things. And you know the, the reality is every seller wants to never oversell because obviously the, the channels penalized you for it severely. Uh, but the reality is, as you as you develop a more and more complex selling situation where you're selling on many different channels, you, you will encounter overselling. And um, we've seen sellers deal with this all kinds of different ways. Um, the best things you can do is immediately figure out why and solve that problem. And then figure out with your customer a way to you know, still fulfill the order with either a different item, maybe a better item. Um, and so you don't have to cancel the order because the, the channels are so um, that, you know that, that you you lose seller performance ratings based on the orders that you cancel. So, anyways, our goal is to give you these these tools in a, you know as powerful tools as we can um, to set you up for success in a multi-channel selling system where you have serialized inventory, and that's what we've tried to do here. So, that was another another long run about the way this Amazon integration works, but should be pretty straightforward. You you get your listings connected from Amazon, you connect them to your SKUs and wholesale, then you enable inventory quantity sync and your quantities start automatically syncing with Amazon. So all you have to do is focus on your wholesale account and the inventory that you have there and your listings stay active um, with your current updated quantities. Um, and then you've got powerful tools like this to solve problems quickly whenever they arise. And, that's the that's the ideal, um, and then of course, you know what wholesale is providing you from a, a serialized perspective is these orders will come in from Amazon, and you will commit specific IMEIs from your inventory to those orders, so that in the future, if there are returns or there's any kind of auditing that you need to do, you know exactly which IMEI was was committed to each sales order that came in, um, and that's the power of these these wholesale uh, sales channel integrations that we keep adding uh, is the ability for you to do that. So that. It's our Amazon integration, a uh, full overview of its capabilities and its settings. Um, and I'll open it up here for questions. And I'll, I'll stop talking for a second, see if we've got any questions that pop up. Nothing coming in, okay. Hopefully that's because I did such a thorough job of explaining the uh, the integration. Um, if you've got any questions, you know, please feel free in, in wholesale. We have this support button at the top of the, the page that you can open up and get access to Mike and I, the you know, two people who probably have the most knowledge about wholesale's user interfaces, um, hopefully, uh, you know, on the planet. We, we spend a lot of time supporting customers in various workflows that they have. So you can hop in here, send us a message. We will usually get back to your message within a minute or two, um, as long as we are not occupied or on another call. And there's two of us, so we're redundant. Um, we, we really like working with customers on whatever workflows they have. We do a lot of work to understand your workflow and then try and figure out what wholesale uh, settings and configurations will fit your workflows best. So we spend a lot of time doing this and we love uh, doing it for customers. So please please use us as a resource for that. Um, if you're, you're brand new and you've never started a wholesale trial before, you can start a 15 day free trial right on our website. Um, and that's a very, it's, it's, these used to be more self-serve trials. We've made them much more guided trials. So we try and um, engage with you uh, as much as you need and as much as possible to help you figure out how to use the software for your business. So um, yeah, please reach out to us. We're, we're here for you. Um, and yeah, I'll be doing another one of these next week. So hope to see you in the next one. Um, and everybody have a great weekend. I'll, I'll catch you in the next uh, one of these webinars. Take care.